Live. This is Farm 4 News at 11 with a developing story. After days of stop-and-go deliberations, jurors in the BART shooting trial deliver a verdict. Former BART police officer Johannes Meserly found guilty of involuntary manslaughter for shooting unarmed BART passenger Oscar Grant, New Year's Day 2009. Tonight, Cron 4 has team coverage of the verdict, including reaction from Grant's family. It is very painful at this time to even talk about the verdict and the way it came back. Plus, after the verdict was read, Oakland citizens began to protest. Some of them peacefully, some of them clashing with police. Crown 4 has been on the air since 3.30 this afternoon. Again, the verdict in the Measurely trial, guilty of involuntary manslaughter with a weapons enhancement. Johannes Measurely is still in custody. He will remain in custody until his sentencing on August the 6th. This is a live picture now in downtown Oakland. At this location, police are beginning to load up and move out. The, they feel that they have things under control at this time in certain areas, but there are up to about 100 people, troublemakers who are still roaming the streets and causing here, problems. Great. All right, let's go live to Christine Colley. She's at the scene taking a look at another mass wave of officers. Christine, what's going on? So we uh, have just seen these officers start to move here. It looks like they're forming a line here at 14th Street. Um, we hear just a few people screaming, no justice, no peace. We don't see any anyone at this point, uh, just the officers that have just moved in to form this line here on 14th Street. They have been slowly trying to push the remaining protesters, just a few, further down. Uh, we, we can hear some screams, uh, but we don't really see I see just a few people running around uh, down there on 14th Street but uh, they're trying to wrap this up uh, we we saw a lot more officers here earlier they moved out uh, because they're trying to wrap things up at this point so that's probably why they're trying to push this forward all right thanks Christine we have seen our team of reporters that have witnessed uh, various uh, situations where looting has happened and some uh, other destruction around the city let's go live to Mark Jones now on the phone uh, Mark you're at the Sears Center, what do you see? Uh, they actually have wiped out a lot of huge windows at the Sears store on two sides of the building. Uh, the windows totally shattered. There's glass all over the ground. Uh, there are steel gates up, uh, so nobody actually got inside from what I can tell, but there's major damage at the Sears building. That's the most damage I've seen so far tonight. I've also seen uh, just blocks away. Uh, they pulled uh, trash canisters out in the street and set fire uh, to them. Uh, and I heard lots of explosions, but uh, that's the major damage I've seen so far tonight. And is anybody there still, or is anybody being arrested still at this hour? Uh, actually, uh, so, uh, there may still be arrests going on. I'm seeing scattered pockets of police uh, as I drive around on different blocks. But uh, the Sears uh, location right now is deserted. Okay, thanks a lot, Mark.